guys, Devin here at the Ryukin Pro Shop. I'm gonna show you how to finish up rigging up your lure. Show you how to put the leader on there. You will need some leader. Today we got some 300 pound leader. You will need some aluminum crimps. We got 300 pound Momoi crimps here. You need some chafe tubing. You got one for the top, one for the bottom. Need some scissors to cut your excess. Need a lighter to melt the ends. Your hook set that we had already previously made and your lure that we already rigged up. Cut the size and everything's ready to go. And last but not least, a crimper. Um, you don't need something like this. You can get the handheld crimpers if you need. This one, we love it, Momoi Bench Crimp. So let's get started. I have roughly here about 10 feet worth of leader. Start on one end. First end here, we will put two crimps on. One, two. Grab some chafe tube. Put that on there, just like so. Feed that piece through both of the crimps. One, two, just like that. I will go ahead and melt the tag into this. Get myself a nice solid beaded end, just like that. And this this portion's all preference. Um, however long you want this to be, you can pick and choose. Always move your your chafe to me to the tag inside, the shorter side of not the main side tag inside of your leader. Anytime you're, you're putting on chafe tubing, we'll do the same when we do the wire on here. Pull the main side of that leader through, just like so. I'll go ahead and crimp this top piece and we will move on. Kind of center that up the best I can. Just like so. I'll go ahead and back off that bottom crimp there. I'll start at the very base of this. What I do is I'll twist that going up. I give it a twist, just like so. Pulling it nice and tight. And you see we already melted that tag piece there and so our crimp's not sliding any further than that. I'll slide that bench crimp back. Center that up. Give it a crimp. Just like that, and there is the top of the leader finished up. Two crimps, twist, chafe tube. Now, we'll go and grab the other end of that. We'll feed this half through the top of the lure here. Just like so. You'll need the last remaining crimp, chafe tube, Go ahead and put that crimp on there, just like so. Chafe tube, just like so. And don't forget your hook set. Feed that on there. Feed this in through your crimp. Go ahead and do that same thing. Melt this tag in, keep it from slipping. Make some nice solid bead at the end. I'll flatten it out. Go ahead and pull that nice and snug to your crimp. Move that chafe tube to the tag inside. You can go ahead and hold the crimp there and pull the main line all the way through, just like that. Now it's ready to be crimped. Set that in there, line it up. I try to center it the best I can. Crimp. And that is what it'll look like, just like that. Now what we can do, go ahead and pull that all the way through. And if you'd like, real quick, I'll hit on this. If you'd like, um, you can get some rigging tape and make that stiffer. You can rigging tape this. Let's see what that looks like. Get some rigging tape. And you can tape from this end all the way down and what that does is that'll keep that nice and stiff just like that um, 
for this video purpose. I'm gonna leave it just like this and just show you what the overall product will look like. Take your hook, find the, the top of the lure and the bottom of the lure. And I'll line it straight up with the top, just like that. I'll grab that, and just pull that through, pull it up into the hook stop. You see why it's a hook stop. It pulls straight into it, just like that, and keeps this portion from twisting or moving. You'll see that hook will sit in the up position, just like that, while the lure's running. Um, you can always adjust it. You can just grab the inside of there and twist it if you want it to face down. Flip it over. Your hooks, your hook set will face down on the bottom of the lure, just like so. Change it, have it sit at a 90 degree, just like that. Hook will sit on the side. That's the purpose of that hook stop. Keeps it nice and stiff from rolling around. And you can pick and choose how your hook's gonna be running as it's in the water, just like that. And you can see where that hook's sitting. It's concealed nice in the skirt, right where we were looking at earlier when we were making the hook stop. And you can see it went from being tucked up into the skirt to just flush with the bottom of the skirt there. Just like so.